Okay, hello guys, my name is Melchior Celestine. Uh, I'm here to talk about our trip. Uh, I'm a student of professional tour guide, uh, level of advanced certificate. Um, today I want to share with you our trip, which we went at uh, Ngorongoro Conservation Area to visit uh, Elephant Cave and Waterfall and also the Gibbs Farm Safari Lodge. And uh, to, uh, our group known as Color of Survival, and I'm organizer of the trip. and. Uh, to, today I want to talk about the Gibbs Farm. I want to start about uh, history. The Gibbs Farm was started in 1929 as a coffee farm uh, under the colon, uh, German colon. Then after Second World War, the uh, British take over. The original name Gibbs is from British. Uh, when we are uh, at the Gibbs Farm, we glad we did uh, different activities. We did a coffee plantation tour and also we do the vegetable garden tour. And uh, when we do the vegetable garden we glad we learn how to do how to do the organic farming and we also see different species of the vegetables and different kind of herbs and also when we are at the farm we get the chance to visit um, livestock keeping Gibbs farm have a cow for milk and yogurt and buttermilk and also they have goat for cheese uh, pigs for bacon and ham and also they have geese and rabbits and we get also the chance to visit their cottages. Gibbs Farm have 21 cottages and some of their uh, cottage are family cottages and also Gibbs Farm have a swimming pool. You are warmly welcome to travel with our group, our group known as uh, Color of Survival and also I'm proud to be a professional tour guide student. Thank you very much. Hello guys, my name is Kenneth Michael Shimbosho from the Professional Tour Guide School. Today I'm going to talk about um, the migrate experience uh, 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 of the field trip. Today I want to talk about um, the, the, um, the, the, uh, in the, what I've learned from the Gibbs Farm. In the Gibbs Farm I, I, I saw um, the great um, the, um, the manure which they use for um, the manuring all, all different plants, they, they, they decompose them, everything from there, from the plants and remaining food, so they can reuse them for, for the food. And, and, and part of that is that um, there's no any other place where, where you can find um, all those um, the compost for the, for, for the manure. And, and, and that's one thing, we, it actually helps the, for, for them so, they, so that they don't go even to the market, everything is processed right, right over there. And we saw even the, um, the different um, animals, we saw the cows, we saw the chicken, uh, the, the way they, they make their own eggs, uh, and then from the, from the farm, they take everything to the restaurants, even the way they make cheese for, from, the, from the cow um, and milk, everything is processed over there, and, and all of them are natural, there's, no, there's nothing which is manufactured over there, everything is natural and, and healthy, and, and at the same time, that place, uh, there's a lot of different, uh, multiple foods, there's a coffee plantation, so many things. And what I've learned is that um, we, we learned um, uh, to, 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 to the different um, sort of things. For example, the table setting. We learned uh, that, that different things are used for the different uh, ta task. For example, the, 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 there's um, stuff for breakfast, stuff for lunch, and stuff for, for dinner. And, 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 and what uh, I saw over there is, is that um, the, uh, the, we had a, a great um, guide. His name is Langare um, Molal. He, he, he welcomed us in a professional way, and, and we learned how to welcome the, the, the guest. Uh, and, and we had learned different um, procedures. Thank you. Thank you. Next time we Hello guys, my name is Elbarike Olotu from Professional Tour Guide School. My group name is Call of Survival and uh, I'm here to share some experience from Gibbs Farm Safari. And uh, in Gibbs Farm we found coffee plantation. We, in, actually in our country we have two types of coffee, uh, Arabica coffee and also Robusta coffee. But in a Gibbs Farm we found Arabica coffee and the arabica coffee actually grow on high elevation in a gibbs farm uh, in five five thousand feet above the sea level and the arabica coffee starts blooming at the first rain season in in november and they, they got uh, white flowers and they, they have a we have a f four months of blooming they start to blooming in the end of november December, January and February. 
uh, after February, the, it got the beans, and the beans are not equal in size. <coughs> then picking season start in the end of June. Uh, they start picking the red beans. Uh, they, they have uh, four months of picking. They start to picking at the end of June, July, August, September, uh, in October, no more picking. Uh, after picking, they, they remove the festive skin by using hand motor machine. After, rem after remove the, that skin, festy, festy layer, I mean, uh, they wash it, then they're gonna dry it. After dry it, they're going to, to roast it. Then they going to blend it. After blend it, we got a smooth powder. Th then it's ready to use. Uh, and the most commonly used coffee is Arabica coffee. Thank you. My name is uh, my name is Adam. I'm the member of Calaf Survival Group. I'm I'm the one who visited at. Uh, at the elephant cave, um, I the things I want to share with you is the the, the elephant how they dig in the how they dig in the to, in order to get the mineral. They dig and then they get a mineral minerals such as calcium and the iron and the iron and that in mind that the calcium is helping for elephant for the strong bones and the the the, and the support for the struggle because they have a big big body yeah thank you Hello guys, my name is Rizik Moussaoussen from Professional Tour Guide School and I'm the one of the member of the <coughs> Call of Survive group who went to visit in the Gorongoro Conservation Area. On our way to Elephant Cave, we saw, we saw modification of habitat that was done by elephant by pulling down big trees in order to get food and the, those trees that was being pulled down by elephant after a few days or a few years will decay and fertilize the, the, the soil <coughs> and make that place to be a fertile soil and the old grasses that are found there grow very fast and they make animals who live around that area to get more food and they get more food than enough yeah that's right hello guys my name is Hadija Rajabu. I am the student of professional tour guide school in level for advanced D certificate and also I'm the member of Kala of Survival Group. In the trip of Gibbs Farm and Golongolo Conservation area, I, I saw many things but for me I like to talk about the Endoro waterfall. Endoro waterfall is located in the southern of Golongolo Conservation area and it is easily accessed from newly open trail nearby Gibbs Farm in Karatu. The walk it takes us through the forest, the elephant cave and the Endoro waterfall. It takes two up to three hours moderate hike. And the beauty of this trick lies in fact that you get to be in a complete and spoiled forest. Thanks guys, have a nice day.